Alright, let's unbox this beauty. It's a GG Mundo G7400. And I would like to thank GG Mundo for sending this to me and letting us try it out. Okay. Very nice. M.2 NVMe 2280. Oh, nice. Yeah. Comes with a with the drive, screwdriver, some thermal pads, and a sleeve. I believe this is the the sleeve that will not work with the PS5. There's there's another one that that does. That I could be wrong. I, I hope I'm not. Anyway, um, the NVMe itself should work just fine with everything. So. It's a blazing fast 7400 megabits per second uh, read, max read, 6800 megabits per second max write. Um, and it's not only for gaming, it's good for creative workflows like editing. 3D rendering and other high performance tasks, as well as just ordinary everyday things. Um, it's PCIe 4.0 X4 for desktops and, like I said, some consoles. And it's also backwards compatible with 3.0 X4 motherboards. And uh, if you're interested in this drive, it is we uh, just check out the exclusive discount code we have below in, in my uh, description. And uh, yeah, let's install this thing. So first off, I'm not going to use the included heatsink because the motherboard has this other one for us. And so I need to take the pill off the thermal pad. Okay, we are ready for a screw. I'm going to try the screws that came with the motherboard. Perfect. And then here is another thermal pad with a pill on it. Take that off, and then place this all back on. Can't wait to do some speed tests with that NVMe. Okay, so that is installed. Save this stuff in case, you know, do another build that utilize it. This is the next day and got a pretty blue going on in there. Everything's working great. I did have some startup issues, but I forgot that it was a Gen 4 riser cable in the, uh, 
in the machine and so yeah you have to set gen 4 inside the BIOS otherwise you have startup issues on the 9070 XT's anyway anyway uh, welcome back to another edition of Fix 64 this one we're gonna play around with the GG Mundo uh, SSD drive see if it uh, if it compares and specs to what the box says and uh, I'm thinking it will I mean this computer is very snappy this is a really fast drive I've been impressed with it so we will uh, start up crystal disk mark 8 Okay, let me zoom in. Okay. We'll start out with a one gigabyte file and we're just going to test the sequential read and write. Okay, I think everything's set. Let's try it. Nice. Got seventy three thirty nine, very, very close to the seventy four hundred. Sixty three eighty six out of eh, around the sixty eight hundred range. So yeah, yeah, it it's definitely per spec. It uh it's fast. That's awesome. Let me now let's try a let's try a sixty four gigabyte file. That that now that's kind of a test. I mean if we're still in these ranges of above seven and six then yeah it's it's really awesome for moving large files and video editing and 3D, all that. Gaming, everything. Okay, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I've been really impressed with this. GG Mundo drive. Yep. Cool. 7,030. And the right test. Let's see what that. Oh, yep. 6,098. It is within range and that was moving a 64 gigabyte file, so I think we're good to go. That is awesome. Um, yeah, just everyday tasks, opening stuff up, clicking through really fast there's a lot of good drives nowadays and and this is just another one of them you know this very high quality for for the price I mean the price is amazing I saw on Amazon they're like 120 for a 2 terabyte and it's even got a $20 coupon or something so around a hundred bucks for 2 terabytes pretty dang good anyway uh, that is the the read and write test and I just want to thank GG Mundo again for sending the drive over and they are gonna they're giving me a special link for for you the viewer to click on and uh, get a better discount 
So look for that in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much to all my viewers and my subscribers. And thank you to GG Mundo.